Drunk back again with you yet another attempt at beer review. The one I'm going to review just now is the Trooper and it's in red and black. 6.8 on the Richter scale for this porter. I reviewed the Trooper, the, the real ale. It was a wee bit mm, about that one. So the red and black, I'm hoping for better things. Uh, I did review the 666, the Trooper, and uh, accidentally <laughs> erased the video from my camera. For what a tit. Thank you for Stuart Picard for <laughs> giving me that chance to taste it. I rather did enjoy it. So anyway, here's the red and the black uh, Porter by Robinson Brewery. 6.8 on a Richter scale. I am a big Iron Maiden fan, if anybody's ever saw my uh, video of a trooper uh, I was, I think I was kind of semi-suitably refreshed that day and it was a uh, Scream for me roll, YouTube! Scream for me! Well anyway Well, before we go any further, I have bought tickets for their world tour uh, The Book of Souls tour, I will be going to see them and uh, I think it's May 2017 at the Glasgow Hydro so that will be the third time I go to see Iron Maiden in 30 years I'm a fan, well maybe not a big fan but I am a fan, I'm going to go and see them so anyway, back to the beer so anyway, what we have, red and black cleverly named because it is, it may look in my camera pretty black but I don't know if you're picking up or not, there is red tinges Get up, down, get that There is a kind of red, reddish tinge about it You're probably not going to pick it up at all anyway But we'll get in here and see what it's all about, the smell Hmm, very faint on the nose A little bit of licorice. I thought I maybe pick up some coffee or anything like that, but a little bit of licorice. Maybe a little bit of roast. Not really uh, doing much on the nose, but anyway, it's all about the taste. So, so fucking drunk, going in drinking a Robinson Brewery, the Trooper, the Red and the Black. Slangeva! Scream for me, you troop! Fungi fire. First thing I'm getting off of that is it's actually quite carbonated. I didn't think they expect it to be as carbonated as that. Very, very pleasant. Not getting much coffee off it, I'm getting the licorice. I'm also getting a little bit of uh, sweet sweetness about it, maybe like black currant jam. Very, very much like black currant jam. A little bit of honey in the aftertaste. It's actually quite pleasant. Not like what you would expect from a, a porter, to be honest. Uh, it's it's different. It's out there. It's it's totally different. Six point eight in Richter scale. You're not getting that at all. To be honest with you, you could easily sit and devour a lot of bottles of that. I think that would pair very, very well. Uh, if you were one of those kind of people that liked your beer and your spirits on the side, that would pair very, very well with a dark rum. To be honest, although the dark rum is as sweet as what this beer is, it's black currant licorice. Uh, and your dark rum, maybe, I don't know if you're hardcore and you like your dark rum uh, a lot straight or over ice I would personally drink a nice strong dark rum with this uh, just nurse it on the side, it's really nice, it's very pleasant very pleasant, it's a good offering here by Robertson's if you're watching my video just now I got this in the Morrison supermarket, it seemed to be stocking it. 150 a bottle uh, for it. 
it's actually not that bad. Uh, I don't know how it's uh, the reviews of it on YouTube is. I've not really watched anyone review it. It's okay. It's it's totally different what you would expect from uh, most porters. To be honest with you, a totally unique taste. I think they've they've won. Uh, they've ticked a box there. Normally, when you get a porter, you normally get the same flavours you're expecting, your little bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate. I'm not getting anything from that at all. As I said, it's like black cunt. A little bit of dark fruit maybe, uh, and like some licorice. That's what I'm getting from that at all. So anyway, would I drink it again? Yeah, I probably will because I've got another one, another bottle in my cupboard. <laughs> so I will drink it again. No, but it's actually not that bad. Uh, I wasn't expecting much from it, but it's pleasantly surprised me. So anyway, the Robinsons, the Red and the Black, the Trooper, Red and the Black, the Iron Maiden uh, offering, uh, beer, pow, uh, porter, sorry, uh, I'm going to give that a Sophie King drunk, I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. I actually don't mind it, it's, I like dark beer, I quite enjoy that because it's totally unique. So anyway, if you've had the, the Robinson's uh, Red and the Black, give us a shout. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, well, leave a comment below. And if not, so if getting drunk, I'll catch you on another beer review. Slangy Va and up the irons!